Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm Miss Lisa, and this is my YouTube channel where we talk about everything I want to, science and math. And what we're gonna do now is use our graphing calculator to check our work when we have a problem that looks something like this. It'll actually work for any problem you have, including any crazy problem on the SAT or the ACT that you don't know how to do. <laughs> so this is, uh, you can try the answers. You know, they only got so many answers. So what you do is you put in your original problem. So go, turn your calculator on, go to Y equals, clear out what's in there, right? Next, if you don't have the shortcut menu, you need to put these in parentheses. Otherwise, your calculator doesn't know what's in the numerator and what's in the denominator. There's the parentheses. But I have the shortcut menu, so I'm going to do alpha y equals, select numerator over denominator, and I'm going to put it in. x squared plus 3x uh, minus 10 over x squared minus 5x plus 6. Okay, so that's my first equation. Now I do my math, or I go through the answers on the SAT, and I put them in to see what it's equal to. So if I did my math, I factored those out, I cross those out, and I got this as my answer. X plus 5 is Oh, so I'm going to do alpha y equals again to get my little boxes for numerator and denominator. But remember, if you don't have that, just use parentheses. Plus 5. And now I go down, and it is x minus 3. Now, if my math is all good, it will graph it first in blue and then turn it to red, and I'll know that it's right. Now, what if you don't have a color calculator? Well, you'll just get one graph. And you can kind of see it writing over it again, but you won't get anything else on there, so you'll know it's right. So we're going to hit graph. Here comes the first one. Whee! It's blue. Now, if I did it right, it'll turn it red. And look at it, turning it red. So yay, I did it right. So on the SAT, you can put in this, and then for the extra one, start trying the choices. It's a lot faster, and they let you use these calculators, so it's not really cheating. It's using your resources, as another teacher I teach with says. I'm going to get that good grade. All right. So um, then what about if you're not using it just to check your work, but you want to put this, you're graphing this, and you want to make it a graph that your college teacher will take or your high school teacher. We, if you were putting this on paper, make sure that you have arrowheads on the ends of your X and Y axis, Put arrowheads on the ends of these lines, or else you're not graphing lines, you're graphing line segments. And then you need an XY chart. So you can go to second graph and get the table. You can also see wherever there's errors, that's where you cannot, um, where it is undefined. So this you can use to figure out your domain and range. So like you can't use, so, you know, um, Y cannot be, when X is 2, Y is undefined, so X can't be 2, X can't be 3. So that would be part of your domain. So you can get that with this too. And here you get your X and Y chart. You get a few points off of here, you plot them. Bada bing, bada boom, you got a good graph. All right, let's see, is there anything else I need to tell you about this? Um, no. The other thing is, um, if you have an equation where you are figuring out rational expressions and they have, and you have to get the solutions where it has an equal sign, then you just put each side, I'm trying to find one, you just put each side of the equals, uh, like here. Okay, if I want to know the answer to this, I can put in this half of the equation as y1, this half of the equation is y2, no matter how crazy this is. This could be the negative log of whatever, sine, cosine, whatever. But you just put this in as x1, this in as x2, and where they intersect is the answer. So we could solve this by putting this in and that in, and then find out where they intersect. And you can find the intersect button under second trace. See number five, intersect? So that is another way where you can just use your calculator to get the answer without actually doing the math, or you can use your calculator to check your work. All right, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.